Hello, in this video I'll show you how to collapse your connected cluster and uh, there are two ways to collapse your cluster. First one is using this uh, sliders here but this mostly for testing purposes in case you want to start collapsing inside your game uh, there is a special collapse uh, group of properties here where you can set up all the properties and then initiate collapsing using the start collapse uh, button or method inside your game. Also you can initiate collapse manually inside your code uh, just like I'm initiating, initiating it using these sliders. I'll show you later. But for now I just want to show you what it is collapse and how it works. And as you know already um, when you set up your cluster it creates all these connections between all these shards based uh, on these filters properties here by area, by size of the shard and, and just by a random value. And in the same way here you can start initiate collapsing by deleting these connections uh, by these three ways, by uh, shared area size, by actual shard size and just randomly deleting some connections. And whenever there will be some connection deleted, whole cluster will check for connectivity for all the shards inside. And if there will be shards which are not connected with this cluster, it will be detached into simple fragment. And if there will be some group of shards not connected with other group of shards, uh, they will be separated into separate clusters and will be simulated also separately. So let me show you also. I am using this debris and dust, so it will looks cool. Also, I set here in my reset, I set here deactivate to reset. So uh, when I will demolish my cluster, I will be able to reset it back quickly. Uh, okay, let's start. And uh, okay, now I, all you need to do is just start moving these uh, sliders. And by default, the, uh, they all start from the smallest value uh, for among all these uh, connected clusters uh, data. So uh, if it's zero here by area, which it means that there is some um, shared area which is almost zero. So whenever you will start increasing this value, you will see uh, now it start uh, detaching all the smallest shards because they uh, shared area was very low, was lower than this value, so they lose their connection, and they were detached into just a regular simple fragments. And uh, if I will start increase it bigger. You can see my size also was changed because this is right now the smallest shard size. So I can start increasing bigger and you'll see that I already lost some connection here which which were connected these two groups of clusters. So right now this is uh, my original cluster and here I have uh, some bigger cluster. Also uh, the cluster because they are not connected, there are not connection among them. Now all uh, now they separated into two different clusters. So if I will start moving uh, this slider here again, it will affect only this cluster because this one now has its own slider with its own properties, with, which starts from 0 0.03 because this is the smallest uh, shared area size here, and this is the smallest uh, shard size here. So again, I can start increase this value here for this second cluster which I just created, and it will start. Uh, removing its connections here. So you can see after all it was demolished. But well I think I can create something better so I'll reset it. And, and to reset I need to select my original cluster. And I think I will turn all these connections as well. So this time I will start, uh, I will just only use by area. Because I find this by area uh, collapse type works better because it demolishes actual connections. So if connection less than value, it will delete only connection. But if you increase size, it will delete all connections for this shard. So if shard size is less than value here, it will lose all its connections with uh, all shards around it. So if you delete only connection, it creates more uh, kind of more clusters but not uh, shards. Okay, let me start increasing it. So here you can see in this way you can create kind of this crumbling effect. And if you don't like it, you can just reset your widget and uh, maybe let's try this time random. 
here you can see in this case it's simply randomly and that this uh, slider measures in percents so it basically just simply removes right now it removed 22 percent of original connections and this way you can just increase it and at some point it will start it will lose connections it will start crumble okay also you can see that uh, when you use this random value it always the same it creates the same shards every time same clusters this is because here I'm using this seed value so if I will change my seed here some other seed and next time I will change this random property it will start collapsing in some different way it will lose different start uh, delete different connections so uh, and if I will just uh, increasing this by area and by size it always will be the same because it will always start from the smallest uh, area to the biggest and for the size it works in the same way start from the smallest size start uh, detaching smallest shards and then it will start detach bigger and bigger shards with random you can kind of create every time it may be different you just need to change the seat here and you will get different uh, collapse Also keep in mind that when your original cluster lose connection with other groups and if you want to start collapse this one you need to start uh, using this collapse methods for this cluster and you can see you can this way you can kind of uh, control your kind of uh, demolition of cluster maybe you have some kind of magic which will just uh, uh, whenever a player points his uh, magic uh, spell it will start demolishing so if you use it uh, inside your game you can use this uh, collapse group of properties and uh, start collapse which will use these properties here also you can initiate collapse using your own inside your own code uh, using these methods rf collapse dot size collapse and then input a rigid component script and valor float value which you want to use you also can use integer value in this case it will work as a percentage from 0 to 100 so there is a size collapse there is area collapse method and uh, random collapse uh, but if you don't want to uh, use it inside your code if you're not experienced enough then you can use this interface so this is where you can set up some properties here and then just initiate one method start collapse for your rigid component and it will use these uh, properties to uh, demolish your connected cluster so first property here is type and obviously there are three ways to demolish it by area by size and by randomly removing connections next two properties is start and end and these two properties measures in percentage so it means uh, they will um, for every cluster it could be different so let's say for this cluster as you can see its size starts at 0 0.15 and ends at 2.09 so when you will let's say uh, say here I want to end my collapse for this cluster at 50% by size it means that it will end okay somewhere here at the value 1.4 so instead of uh, defining here float values for every cluster because it may be pretty hard to find out all the specific values instead of this you can just uh, set approximately in percentage value you want to start or end your collapse next property is steps defines amount of uh, evaluations so it works in conjunction with duration so in this case I'm using I'm saying that I want my collapse continue for 15 seconds and every three seconds it will uh, remove uh, connections uh, it will interpolate the steps uh, between the start and end uh, I get the value in between and then evaluate uh, collapse uh, and that will continue 15 seconds so um, this is how it works and I have these three examples here for this one I'm set my steps 5 for this one it 10 times and for uh, for next it's, it's 30 so it means that there will be uh, this collapse will be initiated 30 times every half of the second and obviously it will be smoother 
uh, so let me turn on actually turn on connections so you'll see how it will be how it will remove all these connections based on these properties and initiate collapse so our start play mode oh seems like I forgot my area here my area here and my area here okay now I can start collapse here by using the start collapse button or by start collapse method here you can see how slowly it changed it um, demo demolished this connections here and here it makes it in not so often so let's, let's take a look again start collapse here here you can see every half of a second it uh, lose some connection and here it happens just every three seconds and also you can see that every time it happens in the same way so using this collapse interface you can be sure that you, when you set up some uh, collapse it will work exactly the same every time for by area and by size okay next example is by size collapse but this time I'm using different and voila so in this case for the first one at 80 percent for this one I set it to 70 percent for last one I set it to 30 percent all, all the rest of the properties are the same and again let me turn on connections And here you can see that since first one has bigger percentage it will start demolishing earlier but after all all of them demolish in the same way because uh, they just basically just simply removing connection by size and size all fragments have identical or uh, has the same fragments same shards In this case, in this way, using this end while you can kind of stop demolition maybe before a whole column will be demolished. So let's try again. So it will some fragment, it will start losing some fragments, but it will not be demolished completely. Again, depends on what exactly you want to achieve. You can use different properties here. And the last example shows you ra random collapse. And again, I have, uh, if you use the same seed, this one, inside connection filters here, uh, it will create the same collapse every time. So here you can see I have two columns they completely identical exactly the same properties and you'll see that they collapsing exactly the same but for this one for this one I set seed to one and for this one I set seed to two uh, also I will need to remove this melding so only these two columns identical and these two differs You can see this these two will lose exactly the same connections.
Well, this is how Collapse works for clusters. And also, I want to mention that there is a Collapse feature for connectivity component. And if you want to demolish in this way, if you want to collapse some building, some static for, uh, object, then it's better to use connectivity because it provides uh, better results. Because it allows you to use inactive type of fragments, so they will start pushing each other and you will start to see cracks and only then some of the groups will be clusterized and collapsed but if uh, you have some dynamic object if you are going to simulate them inside your scene separately and then you want to collapse them as well then you can use this collapse inside this uh, rigid component uh, connected to cluster collapse feature well i guess that's it with this collapse and thank you for watching